What's up guys, Aaron from, woo. What's up guys, Aaron from Spartacore Training here, back with yet another fun and exciting programming video just for you. As though you didn't get enough sciencey nerdy crap in the last programming video. But you'll thank me later. So here we go. Today, the topic is, should you or shouldn't you do sports specific training within the gym? I'm talking about, should you take the highly skilled, specialized, specific movements unique to your sport, bring them within the walls of the weight room, load them up with weight, and attempt to do those same movement patterns inside the gym in the hopes that they transfer to better performance on field, on court? Short answer, no. No, you should not. And here is why. Reason number one, pattern overload. This is exactly what it sounds like. Because you've attempted to perfect a specific, highly skilled piece of movement within your sport, you've done thousands and thousands of repetitions of it. Now think about doing that on field or on court, and now bringing it inside the gym and possibly doing thousands and thousands more repetitions, but now you added weight to it it's not hard to see how you're quickly going to grab an overuse injury, get sidelined, and no longer be able to practice your sport. Reason number two, the weighted version of the movement you're attempting to reproduce is going to completely alter the non-weighted version. You simply cannot move in the same way with weight as you're going to on field unweighted within your sport. Now I know what you're thinking at this point. Why then would an athlete ever even think about setting foot inside a gym if it's going to possibly lead to an injury or screw up his athletic endeavor? The answer is you're thinking of it all wrong. Think of the field or the arena where you're going to develop and refine skill. And the weight room is where we improve general movement qualities. In other words, strength, speed, power, and endurance. And those can absolutely be transferred back to the field without degrading the movement qualities of your specific sport. Now that brings us to the last point, which is injury prevention. Through the course of you developing your skill, you're probably doing a lot of very specific movement patterns, doing them repetitively, but in the course of doing that, you're neglecting a lot of other movements. Therefore, you have a lot of muscles that aren't being utilized in the same way that your overdeveloped muscles that have gotten you so good at the sport that you're doing. So a lot of what we do inside the gym is actually training all of those muscles that aren't normally involved in whatever sport you're doing and training them and bringing them up to bar with the other muscles bringing your body back into balance so that we can get better joint positioning, better alignment, actually improve your athletic performance because of that, and like I said, save you from a possible injury. So that's all I've got for you guys. Press whatever button it is around me that you're seeing, like, share, subscribe with your friends, and I am out. Please God.